In this video, Christopher is going to be covering the basics of how human motion really works. Everyone out there, golf instructors for sure, use terms like the frontal plane, the transverse plane, the longitudinal plane, the median plane, and last but not least, the parasagittal plane. To complicate things even more, they use words like flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, ulnar deviation, or ulnar drift, and a lot more words like this to make them sound like they are an authority on the subject matter. Where these might be the correct scientific and anatomical explanations, they are really confusing when it comes to the golf swing, unless you have some sort of medical degree. The way Christopher is going to break this down for you is simple and easy to understand, and you will never worry about such complex terms ever again. If I was giving golf lessons today, this video would be an absolute prerequisite, or absolute requirement, that I would ask my students to watch. Why, you might ask? Because it lays the necessary foundation for the proper groundwork, and the correct understanding of how human motion really works. The main part of this video is about five and a half minutes long, and I would encourage you to watch the entire thing. It is really that important to understand. Let's get started. Welcome to this section on how motion works as it relates to your body, okay? A lot of people take this stuff for granted, and the reason for it is is because we learned how to do it when we were infants, all right? But the way your body works, when you're standing up straight, and let's say I want to turn to my right, the second I turn to my right, it's being done with the left side of my body, me being I want to go to the right, the left side of my body, moves first, which is going in the opposite direction of my intended direction. So I want to go to the right. There it goes, opens up my pelvis and allows me to go to my right. Now let's say I want to go to my left. The second I move to my left, normally I'll turn my head. When I turn my head to look, it's happening with the right side, which allows me to open my pelvis and go in the direction that I want to go. This is why I said, Reverse every natural instinct and do the exact opposite of what you are inclined to do, and you will probably come very close to having the perfect golf swing. Now, let's do this the way a lot of people in the modern swing think, how it applies to them, because they think, oh, I got to turn to the right and all these different things. So, I'm going to go to the right, I'm going to go against every fiber in my brain right now, and I'm going to try to move my right hip and then turn and what you'll notice is it sets me off at a different angle instead of going in the direction that I wanted to go. So now let's go to the left. Let's do it the wrong way, which again goes against every fiber of my brain. I want to go to the left. So I'm going to turn to the left and try to pivot around that. And guess what? I'm set off over here. I'm not going in my intended direction. Same thing happens if I want to move backwards. If I want to move backwards, my body will move forward and then I'll move back. If I want to move forward, my body will move backwards so that I can move forward. Simple as pie, okay? The next thing we have to understand is what happens when I pick up my right heel off the ground? My weight shifts as a right-handed player. I pick up my right leg, my weight goes to my left put it down, now they're balanced. I pick up my left foot, you can see how my body shifts to the right. So, the second I pick up my heel, believe it or not, in the downswing, my weight will shift to the left. Put it down. In the backswing, the second I kind of roll this foot in and get off of this heel, guess where my weight is at? Everything is being supported by my right side. See what I mean? So all of a sudden I'll pick up my right heel, everything's supported by my left, because that's just the way the human body works. So that when we can understand these motions of why we're doing something to make something happen, it's always because Hogan understood the laws of motion as it relates to the way the brain interprets how to get us to move in the world that we live in. So when you can apply these principles of he triggered this way to go that way, but because he's going that way, he's doing it with the correct side of his body. Now when he's 
got that move and he's coming down and he's going to learn to run or we're going to learn to run out of the block like he did because we're using this side of our body to go in our intended direction. So understanding how motion really works as it applies to the way that your brain sees it, guess what? It becomes a real easy game because now you are adhering to the laws that are made by you in this world that we live in of how easy is it to go in my intended direction. This went first. How easy is it to go in my intended direction? This side went first. It's as plain as day. And when you can add all that stuff, it makes sense. But there aren't too many people in the world that are going to go, I want to go this way. Let me go this way and try to turn or let me move something on my left side and try to do it. Won't happen. Go into a grocery store. The next time you're there, look around, watch people. Watch people when you're in the mall or any public place that has people, a park. Watch them as they move. When they change directions, they are going to be moving the opposite side of their body to get them to go where they want. And the reason we don't think about it and the reason we don't pay attention to it is because we learned how to do this when we first started learning how to walk. Now, as infants, we'd fall down a couple times because we didn't have balance and we didn't understand all this stuff. But I'll be damned the second we started figuring it out that, oh, it's this side that makes this side work. Oh, it's this side that makes this side work. Gone. You'd be chasing as an adult, you'd be chasing a little infant all over the house because they're like, my God, I can do this. This is great. My brain process, processed that information and I hung on to it for the rest of my life because those are the motor skills that were created by me as an infant that have carried me into my life up to this point and they will continue to do so until the day that I'm in the ground. So just remember, this is how motion works and we are going to apply it the correct way and what Ben Hogan was doing. We'll see you in the next video. All right. Now we really have a solid understanding of what is really happening when it comes to how our bodies move correctly in real life. So learning the things Christopher will be teaching you in the videos to come are going to start making a lot of sense. See you next time and until then, keep it in the short grass.